Hey, was he fancy some Chris? No, nah, I'm Kara. Kara, what are you have today? We have a Four Roses flight. A Battle of the Roses, if you will. I just realized there's actually four of Four Roses. Was that on purpose? It's Four Roses. You have to have four. Or it feels like the battle would be better with more. Well, then why is there only four? I don't like that. Oh, okay. Because I was like, is there a significance with the four of the Four Roses or what's going on here? So the significance is we... I, for those of you not familiar or have heard of Four Roses, Four Roses, the single barrel programs, they have two recipes, so a high rye mash fill and a lower rye mash fill, and they have five different yeast strains. So when you combine that, that ends up being 10 different recipe options that you can get, right? Mm -hmm. We have three of those options, an OBSO, an OESO, o BSF and a OESK. OESK. I always yeah. forget the OESK. So our red herring, if you will, is the small batch select because the small batch select is it's a couple recipes combined and two different mash bills combined. So they take the high rye, the low rye, and a couple different yeast strings and they blend them. So I want to see is mm -hmm. can this stand up with the single barrels and do I have a favorite single barrel? Because I just don't feel like buying all 10 recipes. So I, I'm trying to see if I can shortcut this a little bit. Yes. Does that make sense? Uh, that does make all sense. All of those words means I just need to figure out what I like the, the most. Okay. I'm going to play along with you. I'm good. I'm okay, so we're going to do a blind flight. We got these mm -hmm. cool, non-sponsored, of course, but these cool tasting flights by Aged and Or. We we'll do these little neck tags. I'm excited. The first time we're actually mm -hmm. doing a blind in quite a, quite some time, yes. so I'm excited. Should we start left to right or right to left? I don't know. Are you any or an Audi? Mm. I want to start from right to left because we always start from left to right. Okay. So we're going to go backwards cool. today. I feel like it. So it smells like a proofy booger. It smells like a bourbon. Doesn't smell sweet at all. I get a little bit of oak and caramel. Mm-hmm. Well, tinge. I'm not getting the caramel. I'm just getting the oak and um, like rye. Yeah, that's all I got. Should we go in? Let's just. It smells hot. I'm gonna go in. I can't get anything else. Hmm. That's balanced. Yeah, it was balanced. It's very tasty. That is tasty. I like this a lot. I it, it wasn't very sweet though. It's got a nice like, spice on the end. It's not too spicy, but no. it's like baking spices, but it doesn't punch you. No, but it has something dark about it. That, but, it, but it's not like a fruit dark. It's something dark about it. Do you think it's aged oak? Maybe. I got a hint of fruit that time. That was tasty. It's slightly thin. It is. It's pretty mm. good though. I like it. You want to take a little water in between? Are you telling me to? Uh, for science. You don't want me to get slammered. For science, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go smell the second one. Okay. This smells sweeter. This does smell sweet. This, I thought I'm I was smelling caramel. Yeah, I thought I was smelling caramels on it, the mm -hmm. first one, but it wasn't. It's this one smells yeah. like caramels. So that other one must have been just oaky. Mm -hmm. So I like these. This idea. I don't know if it's because um, I have nose issues. I can't mm -hmm. smell very well out of these tiny glasses. I, have you guys had that issue? It tries to be like a Glen Karen. It tries, but they can't copy that shape, so. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going in. How is it? You tasted it? I like it. A little bit proofier. Ooh. Almost banana-y. Like a fruit salad. What fruit salad have you had banana? I've had that before, where they cut up cantaloupe, and at the last minute, they put bananas on it. You can't do it too too far Is ahead. This is a Western thing. Yeah. Oh. You can't do the bananas too far ahead of time because it gets mushy and brown. It's almost like a. I'm not digging that fruit salad. It's fun. Mm. Strawberries, melon, and a little slice of banana right at the end. So is melon like okay? So what is the bonus? The banana is the bonus, or is the melon the bonus? Like. Oh, I think it's the banana and the strawberry. Oh, okay. Strawberry. I thought like maybe there is not a lot of melon. And there's excess of bananas. And we'll just put those in as like peanuts or fillers. No. Maybe it's a way to get rid of bananas. I don't know. So, I s taste a lot of caramel on this. What do you get? Besides, I like it. 
keep going back to it. Mm -hmm. It's not as awesome as, that, as it was on the first sip. The more you go back to it, it has more of like the oak bitterness. I still look for a hint of cherry on the finish. Oh no, I, I don't get that. A, t a tinge of like marshino cherry. No, or something like spicy, but with mm -hmm. black pepper. I don't get that. Finish. I don't get that at all. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, it, it's more pronounced as as the more I keep sipping it. That sweetness on the on the nose does not translate to the palate anymore. I still get that. I don't know. Oh, we'll it's find out at the end, thing. end of the reveal if I messed up the mm. shuffle. I try to keep our trays both in order while I shuffle them. We'll find out at the end if uh, I did that correctly. You had to stick your nose way in there for this one. This one's very hard to smell. I just got ethanol. Ugh. I did too. <laughs> maybe you should. Don't do that method. Don't do that. Okay, let's maybe try the one nostril method. I never can smell I'm just getting on alcohol on this one, actually. It's so, it's almost like a little bit floral. <sighs> yep. But that's all I'm getting. Yeah, I got that too. Let's try it. Maybe mm -hmm. the palette will help us. It's got Does a little bit of bite? peanutty to it. I never had that in a Far Roses. Oh, some kind of weird barrel nut mm. to it. Like whatever that barrel is. That's a little spiky the whole way through, isn't mm. it? I don't. That one's hot. And I don't get a lot of flavor, but I get a lot of hot heat, like ethanol. Do you? Yeah. <clears throat> it has a weird, um, almost like a nuttiness to it to me, but not like um, like Elijah Craig or Jim Beam kind of nuttiness. It's something with the barrel that oh, yeah. it translates to nuts to me for some reason, but it's not like super there in your face. But that's kind of like, I'm just getting that and then these weird s spices. But it's just heat spice. Ooh. Like jalapeno peppers for something spice. Right? Like it's not a black pepper spice. No, it's, it's, it's hot. Yeah, like I can't even describe it. I realized while, I'm not you, were, sure. I realized while you were doing all that talking, mm. We didn't eat before a barrel proof flight. This gonna be fun. Oh. <laughs> gonna be fun for me. We can be happy after. Oh lord. Yeah, so this well, is super hot, right? if we really like them. So this is really hot. That's actually a really hot one. We'll have to go back. Because we have to re let's I can't taste it. There's, there's in too much stuff going on there with heat wise that you can't pull out flavors. And I'm kind of like, that has mm. to be a single barrel. And I'm like, how did that pass that I, program? I have to I have an idea for that. Oh. Have a sip of water and we'll move on to the last one. Okay. So what my idea is we're gonna we're gonna taste them in reverse, but we're gonna pause and take a couple minutes to let these open up a little bit and see if it'll help that proofy bugger. Is that fair? Okay. Let's okay. So let's try this last one and then we'll take a break. Oh, this smells nice. I like this one. Ooh la la. This I one's got like coconutty, like oh, tropical. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, okay. Oh, like a like a coconut macaroon that they dipped yes. in chocolate. Right? So you get the chocolate, a little oh, hint of chocolate. Or like a Matterhorn macaroon from Yeah, Disneyland. from Disneyland, oh. and it has a little dip of chocolate on it for you. Mm. I miss no, those. It's not, it, no, I don't know what it was. Was it like... They never dipped theirs, but I wish it, they There was dip. something on top, like supposed to be like the snow that's in the Matterhorn. I think it was like a drizzle of, just like a, a vanilla glaze, I think. Something, because it didn't have snow. It, like, maybe like sugar, powdered sugar or something. That's how you make a glaze. Ugh. I don't, I don't do she that kind of baking. Be. That's too much baking. Oh, oh bake I, I cannot but wait. the extras, I no. can't wait for this one. Oh, you're going now. Mm -hmm. So sweet. I like this one. Caramely. I like this one. I get, I get the, almost like a slight nut to it again. I know a little peanutty. That's, it doesn't it's, translate it's, to peanut to me. It's whatever that barrel flavor, I, it translates to me for that. And that's why I, I'm Ooh, going was, there for the Elijah Craig. That's really good. Hot. I like this one. That's really good. This is definitely stands out out of all of them. Oh, I like this one. It's well balanced. It's got some heat mm -hmm. on her, but she's not too hot. It, the, the pepper is not a standout. It's it's a factor, but it's a there. Light and I spice, think, but yeah, not too much. I think the sweetness helps carries it. Yeah, it's caramel. But it's, it's, like, it's the caramel. caramel. This is straight up caramel right here. But it's not up, but overly sweet to where it's like a dessert whiskey. I think it helps 
and plays with the wood and the black pepper. Agreed. I think that's really good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take some water. That one's sort of the standout for me. For me I too. just have to say, um, I just re realized that having three of the same bottle mm -hmm. makes doing a blind easier mm -hmm. because uh, I, I just kind of grabbed it. I didn't look on, yeah. the, on the side later. The only so one I have no the idea. outlier is this one. Yeah, I have so, no idea but... where they are because I don't, I don't remember what you're I not, You're not looking at the recipe yeah. side. So just a bizarre side note. Let's take a break okay. and we'll be back after this. No and we're back. Whoosh. Are you ready to get into it? I'm kind of excited, so let's not dilly dally. Dilly dally? Dilly dally. Dilly dee. Now I want a dilly bar from Dairy Queen. I wasn't. You're not a fan of dilly bars? No. I still get that. We fun. have to drive so far for that though. And it, it's, it's not, not worth even in our the county. Drive. We have to go to a different county. I can see why it's not worth the drive, but for me, no. I'm there for the cheese curds. Awesome. Cheese curds. Can't get cheese curds here either. Because you love cheese. This yeah. still has an amazing nose. It does. It's turned into powdered sugar. But like a sweetness. Uh, I get some kind of beige good underneath it. So good. Ooh, I can't. You know on the creme brulee, like they, mm. the flambe or what's that? When they like torch it. And it's like that crystallized sugar with a burnt. That's what it smells like. It sure does. I get that. I understand. Well, what is it? Is it flambe? Flambe? Flambe is when you have alcohol and you start in a fire. That's not creme That's brulee. That's totally... We should put alcohol on a creme brulee and do that. I don't think custard would do well with that amount mm -hmm. of heat. I think I'm going to just drink this for those things. I just like saying fancy words. Yep. I still like it. It's not as fruity. It's more caramely, a little spicy. I never got fruit on it. I thought I did the first round. I could be mistaken. It, it's it good. had it had slight baking spices all yeah. throughout. It had a little bit of peppery note to it, but the sweetness that was like a caramel road throughout. It just cut, it, it has a little bit of sweet oak to it, mm -hmm. but it's got everything in there. But that caramel sweetness just goes from beginning to finish, and it helps. Yeah, when you said that caramel road that that carries you throughout, yeah. you know, I don't know why mm. it, it reminded me of the yellow brick road in Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I'm not sure why that reminded you. Maybe or the chocolate mm. river in Willy Wonka. Mm. I wanted to drink it as a kid. I need those little tea cups that they I've... took off the the tree, and it was like yellow. Oh. And I'm not gonna bite it. I think I everybody as a kid wishes they could go to Willy Wonka's factory. Yes. I oh I forgot to have water. Yeah, you were drinking. So I was like, I better just follow the protocol. I think it's better for science, right? I'll do anything for science. Sure. To a degree. Mm. I mean, I like my limbs where they're at. The water's good. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ooh. The, this, I think, was... That's we a didn't, more rye We didn't get a nose on it before. No, nope. I get a little bit of hint of rye. I do. With a sweetness? Slight sweetness, Caramel? but it's a tangy sweetness. Yeah, so maybe um, letting it sit helped a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, everything does. Except for pizza. I'm still down with cold pizza. Mm. I'm like a cave woman like that. This got better. So much better with air. Um, yeah, I get a nice little. This was the worst the one. It was to me. It was too hot. Now that heat is not there. Mm -mm. This is nice. It doesn't have that caramel sweetness that the other barrel had, or not whatever this. It's almost a honey that we just came from. It's almost a honey sweetness. It's a little but bit it's, lighter. But it's light. It have more of a sweet oak to it throughout that's what it is oh i like that that's fun mm -hmm. yay thank goodness it wasn't trash could you imagine that would be sad yeah because i was like how is that i had I've... a single bottle program like that made me upset agreed like, especially a lot of people have a hard time trying to get these yeah so are you guys out there do you seek out four roses single barrel picks and have you noticed that they're harder to find mm -hmm. I, I've noticed that uh, they're quickly gone if they hit the shelves at all. Yeah. I mean, uh, we see it all the time within you know our, our county and then close to where I work in another county that they're just oh. everywhere. And then within an hour, they're just already gone. So it's like, as soon as you see something, you just you just have to go yeah. or know, know somebody. Yeah, over 200 so bottles it's hard. can be sold within an hour and less a half. Than, less than an hour, usually. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's, 
Or even sitting on the that. shelf at Bevmo or something, you know, or Total Wine. They're just gone. When I'm I first like, started drinking whiskey, I didn't know the difference yet yeah. between this, this the regular single barrel and the single barrel barrel proof. These, um, yeah. And they would sit there. Yeah. Well, like one of them I got sitting at um, just a Bevmo on the case. It was just sitting there. Yeah, it was just chilling. Just chilling. And I was like, no one knew about it. So I was like, okay. Okay, now this one I don't get very much on the nose. Is it just me? I get a I think little it's just bit. Me. Maybe it's because I drank most of mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did drink most of them. You must really like this one. It has a darkness. Hello, darkness, my yeah. old friend. But okay, see, now when I say that, I don't know how to describe it uh-huh. because that's not like a rich fruit, like a dark uh-huh. fruit. It just seemed like. I get a little bit of wildernessy rye on this one. Like really far. I down. can definitely smell that, yeah. You know, my favorite no, you're My favorite it. note, the mm-hmm. outdoors, like a cooling. Mm-hmm. I smell that. Like snow. Mm. It makes me thirsty. You always talk about the snow and have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, we'll have to fix that. It's got a lot of barrel bitter. To me, this one is spicy. It's pepper. Mm-hmm. With caramel. And then, no, but it's just... someone put a lot of pepper, almost chili flakes. You know those chili mm-hmm. flakes that you do put on pizza? Almost those. But there's it. It's got a bitterness to it that's standing more out to me than the it's... other stuff. It's not bad. I don't know if I'd grab it right away. No. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. A little spicier and wood, oakier. Yeah. Like, like dry, bittery. It's almost oh. like almost like a wine finishing cask, kind of. Mm. Like how you get that dry. Because it dries a little. Yeah. Yep, I get that. I get that. Okay, so back to... That's my least favorite so far on this second round. Smell this. This smells younger, doesn't it? Sure does. So we have a suspicion that this might be the, um, just because yeah. of the texture and the, how it hit the palate, we think, I know this is bad to try to guess, but I think it's small batch select. It almost smells like it has like a mango. You know, it's not empty because of the little mango. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's a little, I believe this is only what, six to seven years old as opposed to these yeah. ones are what, around nine, eight, 10, 10. This one's nine ten years. 10 years, six months. This is 10, ten years. Year and this one's nine. Oh shit. This one's nine yeah, years. So we got grandparents, parents, and baby. So this is six to seven, and it, it, that's what this reminds the note. And those brighter fruits like mango are usually mm-hmm. a little bit younger to me. What do you guys think? And then coming, it smells good though. And after after trying all of those other three ones, the mouthfeel is thin. Mhm. Mm. I don't think it's just a proof. It's a little grainier, a little corny. Mm. You're corny, all the time. It's not bad though. I like it though. Yeah. How much is that bottle? We have no clue. It's at Costco all the time, so I don't know the real price. Okay. Because I know these range between eighty and ninety to one hundred. These should be seventy nine ninety nine. They're never that. Well, we've gotten one, two of them for seventy nine ninety nine. Oh, cool, good and for us. The other one was eighty five. That was the Bevmo one. It was probably the ten year one because I had my Bevmo. Oh card which i really don't which i'm really a little teed off about them. i don't know how that works never really got a card so i have to go by my phone number but i never know what phone number it's listed under because apparently i have that many aliases you do okay i just have to say this is probably this is hard okay this is my actually. least favorite however i think it's still pretty damn good oh that's really i actually thought the um, oh the peppery this one? one okay let me go back you liked it because it has more oak. I'm not there for that. Mm-hmm. It was too much oak for me. It's, it was more bitter oak. I don't like that. Yeah, but let me double check. It's nice to A and B such A and B, A and B. That's good to do. Mm-hmm. Like, it's good, but compared to the others side by side, it's not where I'm at. Okay, after I went from this one to that one, that mm. is super bitter. Mm. It's bitter even going from the young one to the other one that had everything but it wasn't overly sweet so even the one where it wasn't overly sweet was still bitter i got bitterness again on this one though on the little the youngster Mm -hmm. sorry which of these two i like better oh good luck Hmm. okay one on the far left has got kicked up a notch of the sweetness and the spice so they're like battling the whole time 
right? Not really badly. I'm just saying that that it's there. I get it. It's it's actually really complex. But mm. this other one mm. where I completely hated and it had no nose opened up after a little break. Mm -hmm. It's opened up, but the flavor it's not as sweet. Yeah. But that spice isn't as much of a kick either. This is has hard. arc to it. This is hard. Because okay. you can tell that they're related, can't you? Yeah. They taste similar. There's a lot of, there's a, like a um, four roaches through line, if you will. Gosh. Okay, mm -hmm. this is hard. Okay. Mm, I got it. So why don't you pull your, put them in order of, um, from left or right. Or, Rank them, rank them. Top I already number got one to okay. You want me to move them right to left? I don't know how. I don't know if you like the innies and outies thing. Just you, as long as you know where your ranking is, that's all we care about. Oh, okay. I got it. I just had to move one. You're still going at. I think they're in order already. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, so is um, let's do what's your we'll do third and fourth. So your fourth place and my third place, right? So this is my last. You read your last. My last is D. My last is B. Mm -hmm. Read your third. We're gonna find out what it is in a second. Oh, in a second. What's your third? D. Uh, B. What was your? My fourth was D. Okay, so at least I didn't mess that part up. This is B. B. So I rated that third. That so, was that young one that we thought. Yep. Younger, so we were correct. It, it was my last place. It was your third. Second one. That one beat out that other one that was just uh, the oak. It was just too bitter for me. I just couldn't. That's all it, That's all I got out. It was too overriding for me. Yeah. Yeah. I just couldn't get it over. There's something, there's a tinge on the mid palette of that. I don't know if it's green hmm. that I don't care for. Um, it sticks out to me. Okay, so it we probably got wouldn't this. stick out as much if you didn't do a side by side, I bet. I don't think so. No. I didn't taste it the first time yeah. through. Yeah. I only tasted it when I was A and B in the last two spots. Yeah. Then it was, it was very hmm. distinct. And then I was like, oh, I don't like that. Okay, so, so my we have second, a and B. I have C, and then my first is A. Okay, so now we need to figure out. I just felt like the A amplified the sweetness and the heat together. There was so much going on. There all those are. Okay, so we have an OBSF, a OESK, and an OESO. I do not know where the OBSF is because OBSF is minty, and I didn't get any mint today. I remember when we first opened that many months ago. So it was like scope. I, I didn't like it. It I, was just too minty, and I was surprised mint never came. So across. maybe you only drink OBSF in a flight of Four Roses because either can't that find or we it. got it far enough down. It is for that time. the mint kind of just all right. It opened up. Let's see what this is. This is C. That's, That's second C. place. Wow. Okay. I thought this was OESO. Really? Yeah. yeah. So that means it's not. Okay. Yeah. Hit that one. What's that one? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So this is D. Where's D. That was my last. Oh, no. That was my last. <laughs> She's been hunting. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So D was my third place. Wow. There was just something too bitter about it. It's too bitter for me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So <laughs> A must be. It's the. Oh, yes. K. Yeah. Oh, we ask Kay is a bourbon enthusiast pick if anybody. Maybe that's actually what it equates to. Who picked it? It's probably who picked it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. This is 75% corn, 20% rye, 5% malted barley. I believe that mm -hmm. means this is a low rye mash bill because yeah. it's the E instead of the B. So it's O E S K. It comes in at 58% alcohol. Um, for those. That follow for roses, the warehouse is L E. Barrel number fifty two, three N. How hot is that little booger? Fifty eight. Fifty eight okay. percent. Um, okay, the one that actually was more muted was fifty nine point five, that was higher. 
On the nose or on the palate? On the palate. Like it was sweet. But was what, what lover? Is what number? Is that sweet? Yeah, that's her second one. Remember, that's why for me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is like a full point and a half higher. That's crazy. See, I always wondered if you go to like a big chain like Bevmo or Total Wine or some of those bigger options. How good is their palette? How good is their... It, who's picking it? Is it corporate pushing how many bottles yeah. they can get out of it? Like, I, I really don't know because it's not like... It's a little bit younger. Yeah. That's kind of surprising because all of the other picks are, you know, like um, independent and a small mom and pop store. Is this is supposed to be the... I, it kind of... Okay. I don't taste any mint. Let me go back. They don't ferment in the second one. Is, is that how it, what number it is? C. Yeah. Yeah. No. It went away. It opened up. I know it there away. was a distinct mint. I you did not like it. it. Uh, did we not have, like we have it. a previous uh, video where we review this OBS. Yeah. Uh, OESF. And OB I, I, OBSF. I think I remember right here. If I Check remember, it out. That I said if that mint wasn't in there, you I would, would like it. it. And you like it. It's a second mint place. went away. Hooray for me. Another bottle I can drink. I don't else. know. Does, does it air affect whiskey? That's an interesting question because it's this has changed. Yeah, see, okay, so we have to get this OESO down because if I didn't like that before and I don't care for it right now, we need to get it yeah, down to right Yeah, I think we have some drinking to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I have to say I'll do that, for that this young... Well, we call it this the youngster because I no. think it's six years. We, we've never had the small batch yet. I have a sample. And we have never had their standard, I think it used to be called the yellow label. I think it's mm -hmm. like beige now. Uh, we've never had that yet. So I'm, we're calling this one our youngster just because it's the youngest we have. I think it's a good offering by itself. Uh, the more I drink, I've noticed for, for roses, mm -hmm. the, the profile for roses isn't normally my jam. Yeah. It's good, mm -hmm. but it's not something I seek out and crave. Yeah. But... This helped me realize I really don't need to seek any more single barrels for no. myself. I think I'm no. good with the ones that we have. Yeah. Um, and I'm hoping to drink some more of the OESO down. Yeah. And hopefully it'll change. Because that else. was actually one that it's hard to find. I was actually like, I, I, I would love to have um, a bottle of that or at least try the OESO. Just because there's quite a few people that we know that that's their really favorite. really like it, yeah. So I don't, maybe this is just a... a not one a off. good representative of OESO. Could be a one-off. We don't it, know. It is a place we've never bought a pick from before. It is true. So we're not really sure yeah. what their palette is. And I'm kind of suspect, like, they didn't even put their store information on here. No, I, I kind of, no when I saw the tag, when I saw the tag, I thought Four Roses selected it for them. Uh, yeah, it, it was weird. But I did see on... They said they, they, they did it. They did have, like, a photo post that they had... Samples. A couple of samples, and one was actually the... Is it the PN? Yeah, warehouse. The warehouse called and they even had like a tier six where I know that everyone always like, oh yeah, those ones right there. I, I don't like, know. If it tastes good, I'm there, but I'm not going to go about. I don't know what the, these mean. All these warehouse numbers. I'm ignorant of that fact. So maybe that's the next thing I should read. It could be like how wild turkey people like certain warehouses. And right, like Camp Nelson and stuff. And stuff like I don't know. If, if it tastes good, I don't care where it comes from. Yeah. So do you guys like Four Roses? Give us a comment below and tell us what's your favorite recipe and is it still worth searching out and hunting for? And if you had an OESO, what does yours taste like? Is that just how they always taste? Yeah. Is it like a bitter barrel? Is it that? Give us some tasty notes. It? And while you're down there, give us a thumbs up, if you will. If you like what we're doing here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications so you can join us in our next video. I don't know about you, but... I fancy this one. I fancy -E this uh, OESK. Mm -hmm. Cheers.